Williams. And at the 47, they think to Coburn. And Burles couldn't find anybody, and he'll be taken down. It's a bomber sack for Alex Hall, who had two last week in Calgary and now has seven on the season. Which ties Karan Williams. Alex Hall in the three-point stance, working one-on-one -on, -one on Brian Simmons, steps down with that slide protection, and then he comes off of it. And Henry Burrs wanted to go deep down the sideline on the outside. He couldn't find his receiver. It was Brandon Rutley who was well covered. Ten consecutive games, but... Here comes the heat, and they get to Henry Burrs. Way back at the 24-yard line. Safety blitz, seeing Logan. And that's why they bring DeMond Washington in, the extra defensive back, and it frees up the safety and Ian Logan, who's going to line up deep and then slowly walk up to the line. And on the snap of the ball, he goes right down Main Street, and Henry Burris didn't even try to avoid it. He just protected himself because he knew the hit was coming, and he had nowhere to go. You know, we talked to Ian Logan before the Labor Day game, and started their 30. Send out six receivers. Push run, and they see down for the first time. Looks like Alex Hall got there first. Last series, Anthony Calvillo was facing a lot of bomber zone defense, and the receivers were allowed to release. He was just picking and choosing which one to throw to. This time, it's going to be man-to-man, -man, and the way you know that is Brandon Whitaker coming out of the backfield is going to get picked up by Pierre-Luc LeBay, the middle linebacker. Because there's man-to-man -man right there, it, it forces Calvillo to hold the football a little bit longer, and that defensive rush can get there. Hey! All outstanding last week. This week, in advance of this game. Now a right start with great field position, but Hall oh, with a great play and a sack back at the 50 yard line. Since we saw him coming on last week, surprised the stats weren't better for Alex Hall because he had a dominating evening against the Edmonton Eskimos. Uh, he plays this perfectly because he comes off the edge and is blocked by Brandon Whitaker, but Whitaker is going to throw him right into the path of Calvillo. Brandon Whitaker sees him coming off the edge and looks like he's going to go over there to help quickly. Scott Flory can't get there. He ends up pushing Alex Hall right into the path of Anthony Calvillo. A nice second effort to dive there and trip him up. Loss of 14. First down, and it's a quarterback option <laughs> touchdown. Henry Burris, and is it still alive? That ball's loose, and Winnipeg's got it. No signal, and the Bombers come up with the football. Looked like Burris had scored, but the ball comes loose. Did he break the plane? I don't think so. That fumble, that ball is out. Alex Hall from behind. 